Hey, it's Eric from VFX Tools. We're gonna to do a tutorial for Extendo. We've got our footage. We've got the sky that we've tracked into our footage. I already did that. Um, so we need to put the um, result, the rotoed guy back on top. And you can see when you put the rotoed guy back on top, you have this white outline. Now, I got this roto from Roto Brush. You could get it from a roto vendor. It looks like this. It's just a Luma map. And um, the problem is a little exaggerated here because usually when you get it from a vendor, you won't have like this white outline, but you would have the motion blurred stuff. Uh, when you're putting something dark where it used to be light, you have this problem. So what do we do? Let's see here. We're going to take the extendo effect. Extendo. We're going to plop it on here. And here's what you do first. So you go to erosion only. That's my first stop. And we're going to use this erosion control. And I want to bring it back until there's like no white stuff left. Then I'm going to go to extend only. And you can see the edge extension happening here. Um, so if we did extension on, extend only with that stuff, we'd be extending the white, which we don't want. Let's turn it up to eight here, because I think we had a little bit. That should work pretty well. Um, the way that this is working is, if we change the iterations to one, what we get is um, the starting blur is two. So it's like, it's just a bunch of successive blurs. So let's see if we can even tell. Not really. And each step, so you have your starting blur and your step size. So if we set our iterations to two, then the next step will be a blur of two times five is 10. And if we do another blur, two times five is 10, and then times five, <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but let's put our iterations up to like six here. And you can see that it keeps blurring and each successive blur is more blurred. So if I set my step size to one, you would just get little blurs, but they'd have, I guess, more detail in them. Five. And then I'm gonna set it to final output. So the way that final output's working here is, and keep original alpha, is it's, if I, if I uncheck keep original alpha, we just get this which is the same as extend only. Um, but when I check keep original alpha, it gives me this. So you can see it matches the original alpha. And then I have this alpha boost thing, which can kind of nudge it out a little bit or nudge it in a little bit um, compared to the original. So this one, it's, it's a little bit less. The default is 1.5 and that matches the input. Why 1.5? I don't know. Why not? And so when we put this over our footage, we can see that we've done our edge extension and we've replaced that white stuff with good stuff right here. Look at that. And uh, the other thing you can do, I, I had this other shot that I can't show you because it's under NDA, but in that shot, the guy the guy wasn't moving and then he would like move really fast and then wasn't moving and move really fast. So what you do there is um, you go into erosion only and see if there's anything like that here. This isn't as motion blurred. So then we would back off the erosion. Let's see to like, I don't know, four in this one and you'd set a keyframe and then here or whatever here where it's more motion blurred set that to six, etc. I think it's probably most here ish where we were at like eight. The point is you can keyframe this. Um, oh, and I forgot to talk about edge softness. Edge softness is if we go to extend only right here, if we had edge softness at zero, this would just be like a hard edge where the erosion happened. I don't know why you would really ever want that. I always set it to one, but it's there if for some reason that were to come up. Um, and so now we're gonna go back to final result and look at us, edge extension, looks nice. Um, all right, extendo, goodbye.